Hi. Tonight I'm going to talk about panic attacks. Um, in particular, my last panic attack that I had, which was a little bit less than a month ago. I was in Kohl's. It's a department store that they sell mostly clothes. And all I was doing was looking around. I wasn't planning on buying anything, just browsing. And I got this big lump in my throat. And I tried to swallow it. And I couldn't swallow it. And it was blocking up my airway. And I thought that I couldn't breathe. And I thought that I was going to die from lack of oxygen. The whole time not realizing that I could breathe out of my nostrils. Um, but I... I just thought I couldn't breathe and the walls started closing in on me. I got really, really sweaty and hot. Um, I just, I started thinking about my funeral, um, my family, like kind of like my, my life kind of flashed before my face. Like, what have you done with your life and you're going to die now just from oxygen deprivation? And I started crying really, really hard and I grabbed my mother and said, we have to get out of here now. And I ran and got out of the store as fast as I could and made a huge scene. Everyone was staring at me. And so that's that's what happened. I just, it, it started with physical symptoms. I got the lump in my throat. I couldn't breathe. I started sweating. It was hot and um, racing thoughts in my head. And that's what happened. Um... And when I got out, I slowly started to get better. I, The lump went away, and I could breathe again. And I thought, gosh, why did you think you were going to die over what? Over nothing. Over and Nothing even triggered it at all. Like, I wasn't... Nothing happened. I was just looking at clothes. And the next thing I knew, I thought I was dying of oxygen deprivation. Um, panic attacks are different for everyone. I've had different panic attacks than that. That was... The last one I had that was pretty severe it's mostly just anxiety and then you have physical symptoms that go along with it and for mine it was like the physical symptoms started before the emotional symptoms and I still to this day don't know what caused it I don't think anything caused it just my anxiety and it sucks because now like I'm afraid to go out into public any place where I don't have an escape route like I won't I haven't been making any plans with friends or anything like that because I don't want to have a panic attack and have nowhere to go and have not have someone with me that can comfort me or knows the right things to say or do. Um, so I, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about anxiety. It just sucks. It's nerves, nervousness, and a big rush of it that comes over you and then... Uh, that's it. Um, okay, everyone have a good night. I'm glad I didn't die from that stupid panic attack. And they affect many, many people. Um, just come out of nowhere. But I'm okay, and everything's okay. All right, everyone, have a good night. Say good night to Monty. Good night, Monty. Okay.